We had chicken and rice last night. So that's leftover rice and here's the leftover chicken. How appetizing. So I'm going to get all the meat off of the wings and every, you know, little piece of meat that I can off of that so we can use it in tonight's dinner, which is going to be chicken fried rice. I have, I don't know, two cups maybe of frozen broccoli florets, three carrots peeled and sliced thin diagonals, a whole onion chopped, um, two big garlic cloves minced, and then four farm fresh organic eggs. Um, and I have, I'm also going to put some peas in there, frozen peas. This is not enough rice for my family, um, so I'm making one more cup, and I'm cooking it in bone broth, and I also cooked this one in bone broth um, just for the nutrients in that for our teeth. Um, those of you who followed along with my cavity reversal videos know that our diet changed in several ways um, after we found cavities in one of my boys mouths and uh, one of the things we've added to our diet is bone broth as often as possible so these are the ingredients right now I'm just making that rice the extra cup and I'm gonna go ahead and get all the meat off of this carcass <laughs> I love calling it a carcass <laughs> and then I'm gonna start um, with the rest and I'll show you guys that so I only got like um, a cup or so of chicken meat out of that, so that's fine. My husband came home pretty late last night and he was so hungry. I was just like, eat as much as you want. Usually there's like at least a full breast of chicken left over for me to do something with the next day, but I didn't mind um, at all. And so with the bones, I save them, I freeze them, and that's how I make the bone broth. So my freezer is stocked right now with a bunch of chicken bones which is nice since we're just getting into fall and winter I have a good uh, a good amount there so I can make a lot of soups with it I excuse me am heating up like two tablespoons of sesame oil and then I'm gonna throw in all these veggies um, as well as the peas and let that get nice and tender especially the well you don't want the broccoli to get too soft. It's nice when it has a crisp to it. And now that my kids are older, they like that. I used to have to cook it down until it was really tender for them to eat it, but now they like it. So that's cool. So I'll throw in the onions, the garlic, the carrots, the broccoli, and the peas, and just uh, saute that for a little while. And then um, make the eggs, and I'll show you how you do that. You just move the veggies out of the way, throw the eggs in, and cook it. Then I'll throw the chicken and rice in with some soy sauce. Yummy. Okay, so I've got my oil heated, heated up, so I'm going to go ahead and put all of these veggies in. Garlic, onions, carrots, broccoli, and that rice. I've told you guys how I make rice so many times, um, but I feel bad not saying something in this video those of you who may be watching that haven't watched any of my other cooking videos um I just made a cup of rice because I had leftovers but one cup of rice calls for um liquid a half a cup more so one cup of rice one and a half cups of bone broth or water and um you put it on high until it's boiling and then you lower it to for me it's at two so like a low boil for about 15 20 minutes then you turn it off and leave it covered for like 10 minutes and then it's ready. So that's how I make rice and I usually put a teaspoon of salt for two cups. So half a teaspoon for one cup. So I got these veggies in here and I'm gonna put the heat a little high because it's stir fry. With stir fry you actually want high heat. But since my broccoli's frozen, I'm not going to do it too high because I do need it to defrost and get warm and just a tiny bit tender throughout. I don't want it to be completely raw. So it's not your typical method of cooking stir fry because there's some frozen vegetables in here. So I'm even going to cover it. And you can play around with that. If you have fresh broccoli that has not been frozen, then you can put it on high heat and just move it around the whole time and the veggies will steam and cook and that's how you make stir fry but since I have frozen broccoli I like to cover it 
and let it steam just a little bit. And when I see it start to get bright green, then I up the heat a little and stir fry it at that point. So it's a different method, but it works and it tastes awesome. And you just gotta play around with the ingredients you have. So my veggies have been steaming for a little bit and my broccoli looks beautiful. So I'm gonna uncover it now. And there's just a tiny bit of liquid at the bottom from the onions and probably the steam, the condensation from the lid. So at this point, I'm going to scoot them all over and I'll show you with the camera. Actually, yeah, I'm going to wait to add the chicken so it doesn't get that weird chewy consistency if I cook it too long since it's already cooked. And I need texture, not consistency for the chicken. <laughs> so I scooted all the veggies over and just poured the eggs right in there. I'm just give them a minute to cook. And honestly, I don't really know why this is the way. I'm assuming it's because you don't want like all your veggies to get coated with scrambled eggs. So you'll pick up a broccoli and it's like green with a thin layer of yellow egg around it. I'm assuming that's why this is the quote unquote the way to make the eggs and stir fry. But my husband loves the egg, so I put four of them. He's gonna be really happy. I usually agree. Uh, if we go about it, I'll put like one <laughs> for four people, and he's gonna be happy. And so, just like he makes scrambled eggs. Around till it's all cooked. Okay, so I just stirred all the egg around. Now I'm gonna toss in the chicken and the rice. Actually, I'm gonna stir it first. No liquid in this at all, so the stuff at the bottom is getting a little toasty. Here's the cooked rice, which is mixed with some white rice that was not cooked in bone broth. That's fine. Um, day old rice, like in the fridge, is the best for fried rice. So I wish if I had thought ahead, I would have made this rice earlier, but that's cool. So put some sesame seeds on top of each individual serving. I'm going to stir this up. And I don't really know how much soy sauce. I just eyeball it. Um, I would do less before you do more because you don't want it to taste too salty, you know. If you've never made fried rice, it's easy. It's awesome because you can put anything you want in it. Um, it doesn't have to be a certain vegetables or anything. You can just get whatever you have in your fridge and make sure it doesn't go bad and just use it. <laughs> Any meat too is awesome. Shrimp, chicken, beef. It's a great dish, I think, to use like the day after you make a big meat dish because the leftovers are not enough to like have as the main portion of your meal but the veggies and the rice are such filler it's perfect to just put a little meat for flavoring and this is a red day and that's how it looks beautiful and I'll serve it with some sesame seeds sprinkled on top, which I get from Azure Standard. <laughs> All right. I talk about Azure Standard constantly. Pretty much any time we talk about food, I'm talking about Azure Standard. So I hope this is yummy and you guys enjoy. Arroz frito.